Hey, it's Sadie. Welcome to Flickr Tina. And this movie I have been geeking out about for months. If you look at the previous reactions that I've had to the trailers, I, you can tell I'm very hyped for this movie. This video is actually a non-spoiler portion of the video where I explain the rating of the movie and this will give you a feel of whether or not you should see this. So the so Black Panther is directed by Ryan Coogler and it stars Chadwick Bosman, Lupita Nyong, and Michael B. Jordan and a few of others like, you know, Martin Freeman and so the MPAA rated this film PG-13 so that means it's not PG it's not G it's not R it's PG-13 the reason they rated this film PG-13 was for prolonged sequences of action violence and a brief rude gesture okay let me break this down for you the prolonged sequences of action violence Marvel has this habit of making very violent scenes but they don't usually have a habit of making them so long and there's a lot of cutting involved and stuff that didn't happen in Black Panther in Black Panther there was a lot of cutting and blood and a lot more than the general Marvel movie trope I guess so that was that because of the culture in the Black Panther film there was a lot of like hand-to-hand -hand combat and knives instead of guns being used which was cool to see but also it's very like you're on the edge of this your seat and you're like uh, uh, and wincing as the knife like barely misses their head or something like that there are multiple stabbing scenes where characters get stabbed in the abdomen and it's very bloody and, and graphic and the music swells and everything's like very ah. I would tell you to be careful with taking your kids to see this film the violence is on the more PG-13 esque side of things just letting you guys know the last part is the brief rude gesture so what happens with the brief rude gesture is that two characters are kind of you know jesting very playfully and then uh, one of the characters is walking away and then another character says something and then they flash the finger the it's about three five se seconds long that's that's it yeah but that was pretty much it the language in this film I'm just gonna put Put, added on language in this film was not the worst thing it is a pg-13 movie so it's it's mild language for a pg-13 film i think so i'm going to pull up the frequency chart and rate this film on a scale of 1 to 10 how frequent were these um elements of the pg-13 rating i say they're about an eight and that's just because of all of the violence that was happening around them sometimes i'm wrong with these things but it's my I'm human I make mistakes so to wrap this non-spoiler video up I have my magical scale of movies on a scale of Steamboat Willie to Deadpool how appropriate is this film for younger audiences for Black Panther I want to rate this like directly in the middle of Who Framed Roger Rabbit and Iron Man like between seven and eight because I don't know I just can't choose one or the other so it's directly in the middle so if you gauge those two movies. It's leaning towards Iron Man, but it's still in the Roger Rabbit area. So if you know the general gist of those films and the concept of, uh, you know, rating wise, then you'll understand what you're getting into when you're watching Black Panther. Before I wrap this video up, I'm going to tell you guys that this weekend I am going to be live streaming and there's going to be a lot of stuff going on. There's going to be trailer reactions. I'm going to be interacting with you guys and this is gonna be really cool if I can set it up correctly this it will be this weekend if you guys follow me on Twitter or Instagram with the links are all down below in this description box I will be posting updates for the live stream and um, I'll be you know keeping you guys updated about that kind of stuff thank you so much for watching keep being awesome have a great random Thursday bye